Joining us now is South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Senator, let's get your reaction to all, all these developments today. You know, the system is so obviously fair. There's no victims here. Okay, they had a disclaimer in every yep. contract. Uh, not one person that they did business with complained. Everyone was paid back with interest on time. Then the worst valuation of all came from the judge himself, and he was steadfast. Yeah. I, right now, you can go online and find a, a two-acre property, oceanfront property in Palm Beach, just an empty lot, two acres, $200 million. And you're going to tell me that 22 yeah. acres is 18 million. By the way, I'll find the money tomorrow. I don't know how, but I'll find the money. I'll buy that property. I'll pay twice I'm that amount. You. 22 acres in Palm Beach is worth a billion dollars without the buildings, without the name, with, without identifying the actual value of the property. All you need to know is if the liberal elite will weaponize the United States justice system against a former president Every single one of your millions and millions of viewers need to know we could be next. This is egregious. This is disgusting. But this is the plot and the plan of the radical left. Hear me clearly. President Donald Trump represents the working class of America. He represents the victim who understands clearly the only thing standing between the liberal elite and the everyday American is former President Donald Trump. That's why we have to all lean in on this election and make sure that the results are indisputable, clear, crystal clear. We must elect Donald Trump. Not only will we better off with Donald Trump, but if you want to eliminate chaos and return to law and order, which means that Lady Justice wears a blindfold, you must vote for Donald Trump. If you want to make sure that kids in the poorest neighborhoods in this country are afforded a great education and not the teachers' unions making decisions for adults and not kids, you must vote for Donald Trump. If you want to make sure that every single American has a chance to live their American dream, Donald Trump is our only choice. Well, and me, finally, Sean, you. if you are yeah, disgusted by this if you're disgusted by this two-tier legal system, if you're disgusted by the actions in New York or this attorney general, you must have your voice heard loud and clear. And that happens on yeah. Election Day. They are absolutely petrified so that Donald Trump they, is bringing a coalition of working Americans. They're going to lie about issues like a bloodbath, even though they've used the words and there's been more violent rhetoric about Donald Trump uh, coming out of their mouths. And we played a lot of that last night. They're going to demo. They, they have said they will lie about abortion. Republicans better be prepared for these arguments. They will say democracy is in peril. The very people that unilaterally would allow uh, elected officials to make a decision to kick somebody off the ballot. Talk about democracy in peril. Yes. They will demagogue. They will call Republicans racist. Ironically, coming from the guy that was partners with a former Klansman uh, to stop integration of schools and public uh, and, and uh, public Joe busing, Biden. didn't want those schools to become racial jungles. So that is their technique. They can't, they can't run on, are you better off? How do Republicans fight back? This is the predictable attack. This is what we're going to hear for the next 230 days. Your advice to the Republicans. 1,000%. Hey, we have to be seen and heard. Go where you're not invited. Make sure that we campaign in every single community in this country. President Donald Trump has a 50-state strategy. We need to make sure that every Republican, every patriot, every parent who believes that they should have a voice in the education of their kids, we must stand with President Donald Trump. By doing so, our neighbors, our friends, our relatives will join this mo movement. We need momentum. We have the right candidate. This is our time to stand up for what America is today, not this utopian American dream that is our nightmare. They want socialism. We believe in free markets. We must fight for the America that we have today and make sure that our kids benefit from it. So get in the race, get in the fight, and let's win this, because this is not about Donald Trump. 
This is about your kids and your grandkids. We win, they lose. Let's make it happen. Uh, let's make it happen. I, I don't think we can survive. Elon Musk said, I don't think we survive four more years of this. All right, Senator, thank you.